round two matchup is over, we'll pick up some some losers bracket action. So we'll be at Battlefield. Some is that? Yeah, it is a brown Mewtwo. I couldn't tell if it was a brown Mewtwo or a darker shade of purple Mewtwo. The double reflect will pop the shield. And fluid will take the first sack. Yeah, unfortunately for Mewtwo, there's only so many times you can reflect a projectile until your reflector either stops working or you go for shield and your shield breaks. It's not invincible like Villager's Pocket. I think all reflectors are that way. Except for maybe Palatinos. I don't think Palatinos breaks. But I know boxes will break. I don't think Falcos will break. But Mewtwo's definitely can only take a certain amount of power before it can no longer reflect it. Nice side B, but able to get away. Does a great job avoiding the up smash, but the back throw won't kill yet. The Shadow Ball will, though. A lot of rolling. Nobody, everybody's afraid to throw out a whiff grab. Up smash will do it. Tonic trying to make his way back here. Forward smash will finish it off. So Fluid will take game one with a almost JV3 stock, but a solid two stock. So Fluid takes the 1 0 lead in the set. See if we end up back at Battlefield. Going to Delfino. The last couple of sets, I think we played all three games at the same place. At Laya, and then before that, it's Smashville, I think. Nice. 
Nice string going on here for Fluid. Takes an early 30 or 63% lead. Shadow Ball will bump that up to 90. And he's able to get off of another fully charged Shadow Ball. Or he's able to charge it. Good quick reaction there to shield. Mewtwo takes a lot of reflexes and shield and uh, reactions and reading to be able to play him really well. Ooh, nice up air to catch him off the ceiling there. Forward throw tries to get him with the shadow ball, but Tonic was smart to recover high there. Not usually a good option, but on walk-offs, your safest option is to go high and get out of there as fast as you can. <laughs> Just take a timeout to charge those shadow balls. And then get back to the action. Ooh, good job rolling away and dodging by Tonic, because that would have been an easy kill for Fluid. Up smash again only hits the first, connects on the first hit. Back throw will not quite kill. Good DI there by Tonic. Dash won't kill either. Goes for a hard forward smash read, but not gonna work. Up air or back air. Ooh, went for the back air. I think up air would have done it, but Tonic's able to get back pretty safely there, but the up air for the up throw will kill. Tonic gets a stock. You two's got some good sharking potential on stages like Duff Me Know. Able to go through the stage, safely put up some back airs or up airs. Some more Shadow Ball charges. That's my favorite part about Mewtwo Dittos. Usually when the match starts, you know, respectively charge Shadow Ball, and there will randomly be times during the match where both players just kind of take a break. Like, okay, let's let's charge Shadow Balls and then we'll get back into things. Ooh, almost lands the forward air coming from below, but just misses it. Up there, up the throw is not going to do it. Oh, let's see some, some spiking. Oh, almost got it. Oh, he had it, but the stage transformed at just the right time. Fluid, dash attack, shadow ball. We need one more to get the kill. Charges it, dash attack will kill. So Fluid will take a nice 2 0 over Tonic. Nicely done. And that'll be it for round two. And I believe we'll be jumping in losers.